This is Rasha Daya. I'm a senior campaigner working with Save the Children. It is exciting to see that you're interested in a career fighting for human rights. To help you start, I'm here sharing five tips that can help you land your first job in the sector. Tip number one, identify your strengths and use it to promote your application. Campaigners come from a variety of backgrounds. Some are strong in working with communities, some are strong in creative writing, in analytics, organizing events, creating social media content, and many more. Make sure you're highlighting your strengths in your application. And keep in mind, it doesn't matter if this came from your voluntary work or from previous work experience. Tip number two, explore your options. There are many organizations fighting for human rights. Read their vision and mission and check if you agree with their way of thinking. If you are applying for a campaigning job, it's also worth checking the organizational campaigning approach. Most organizations sit on a spectrum from disruptive campaigns to diplomatic campaigns that happen behind closed doors. You can learn more on their approach from looking at their Twitter account or simply ask in the job interview. Are there any red lines you don't wish to cross in your campaigns? Being comfortable with the organizational campaigning approach is important so you can thrive in the team. Tip number three, if you have been applying for several jobs but not landing what you're looking for, please don't get frustrated. You can turn this to your benefit by asking for feedback. One way of doing this will be to write back to the interviewer and ask politely to tell you what you have done really well and what are the things that you can try to do differently next time. This will strengthen your application every time you apply for a new job. Tip number four, always check the organizational culture and make sure it's a good fit for you. One question I often ask the interviewer is, Tell me three things you really like about working here and three things that you wish can improve in the future. This will give you an idea about the kind of support the organization provides to its staff, and thus you can send check how you feel about it. If you are from a minority group or if you are interested in a specific diversity and inclusion topic, do not hesitate to ask about it at the end of the interview. You will have some time to interview the organization and make sure it's a good fit for you, so do not waste it. Tip number five, salary. I know this is on your mind. There are two things you can do on the salary. The first, when you get a job offer, you might have a space to negotiate. Actually, some organizations expect you to negotiate. One way of doing this is simply to ask, is this salary fixed or negotiable? If it's negotiable, raise a case on why you're a great candidate and ask for a little bit more. Once you're in the sector, your way to increase your salary will be to get a job at a higher level. So at the first few years, make sure you learn as much as you can, take on new projects and expand your skills. This will help you progress in your career quicker. I hope these tips are helpful and good luck with your search.